I can remember when I was a boy riding horses and enjoying very much the obvious things. They're fast and they're big and they're exciting. It's not that you're making something big do something fast and exciting and dangerous, because you could do that with a motorbike. It's the fact that it is a living creature that you are working with, that you are teaming up with, and that when you're saying, let's have a gallop, you're not forcing a horse to gallop against his will. You are, as it were, becoming co-conspirators. You are becoming kind of two halves of the same will, two creatures of completely different species, of completely different habits, of completely different thought patterns, yet somehow in this extraordinary way, becoming one. When I'm with horses, you have no option but to think in an uncivilized fashion, to become half wild yourself. We want the speed, we want the excitement. You connect with a horse, and I think uh, that is what horses are for me. They are, they're my wildlife. As soon as you are on a horse, the communication happens with your hands, with your entire body, and your mind is just another part of the view that's working. My two favorite places when I'm hacking out on a horse, the first is the walk when you're holding the buckle of the reins, when your leg swings free, the horse is striding out nicely, looking forward. You're just strolling at your ease, preferably through somewhere lovely. Your mind is soft, relaxed, uh, meditative. And then you come around the corner and there is a nice long grassy path and there's a bit of spring in it. And without there being any serious, obvious, dramatic tr transition, your mood changes from its meditative state to an absolutely hyper-sharpened state as you just ease your horse on, rock over the horse's withers and go into a nice flat-out gallop with your teeth in the horse's mane and your bum in the air.